what it do, baby? What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Kappa167 bringing you another build video. And in this build video, we're taking a break from the heartbreak, okay? But I'm bringing you a high end flatline shotgun build, all right? Now, this build slaps, all right? I did a total of over 2 billion, yes, 2 billion damage running this build and let me tell you it's pretty fun to run too so let's get right into it so as you can see the specialization we're running is going to be the technician the reason why we're running the technician is because what we're going to utilize is the laser pointer all right because we're going to have flat line on our shotguns all right so that's the reason so we want technician for the laser pointer make sure you have the shotgun damage maxed out on your specialization tree now one of the shotguns that we're going to be using is the 612 and as you can see the 612 that's going to have one mil damage uh, 130 rpm with seven rounds in the mag shotgun damage to armor and you want it to drop with damage to target out of cover and then at that moment that's when you add flatline to it all right because this is going to be where a lot of the damage is going to be coming in. All right. And as far as the mods, whenever this loads in, all right, we're going to use the reload speed. Okay. We're going to use the reload speed um, because it's a shotgun. So you kind of want to reload a little bit fast. You can use headshot damage or rate of fire. I decided to go with reload speed. On the site, we go with crit hit damage. Okay. And then, of course, the laser pointer. All right, now as far as our secondary shotgun, oh, not the rock and roll, we're gonna be using the 870, the military M870. Now this one has 1.6 mil, 75 RPM and five in the mag. This is gonna have shotgun damage, damage to armor, and once again, make sure it drops with damage to target out of cover. And then we add a flat line on it. Now, for here, we are going to use crit damage as well, okay? So we're going to use crit damage as well there. We have the laser pointer and then reload speed because you load this weapon one round at a time, and I need that to happen fast, so I get the 20% reload speed, all right? And those are the two shotguns that we're going to be using. Now, you have options, okay? If you don't want to use either of these shotguns, you can go with the Scorpio if you guys want, right? You can go that route, right? Okay, and remember the Scorpio comes with crit damage, okay? Um, we have other options. You have the Rock and Roll or the ACS-12. That's a good choice. You also have the Super 90, different variants of the Super 90, okay? So, you, you know, you use what shotguns you like or would you feel more comfortable with? I went with the 612 and I went with this big bad boy right here, the M8070, okay? Now, let's get into the build. As we're gonna be using three-piece Providence, okay? So this is the mask, weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage with crit damage mod, Seska backpack, right, for that 10% crit chance, weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage, crit damage, backpack comes with vigilance we went with the perfect glass cannon the sacrifice once again weapon damage crit chance crit damage crit damage for the perfect glass cannon right here okay gloves providence weapon damage crit chance crit damage fox prayers knee pads right for the damage to target out of cover and the grupo holster they give us that extra 15% crit hit damage weapon damage crit damage crit chance now you're gonna say but capo you don't have badger tough right you don't have that 10% shotgun damage I'm gonna show you why not in a minute I do have it actually it's right here as you can see I was able to get it with crit chance and crit damage and then the weapon damage, I changed the blue core to red, right? I have the 10% ammo capacity, and there it is, right? But I'm going to show you why 
I prefer the Grupo over this, but if you want to use one Badger Tough, here it is. You can use it. Let's go back. Let's take a look at our stats. As you can see, I have 60% crit chance, okay, from all the pieces, right? So that's six, right? 6% 6 on five pieces, that's 30. Providence gives us 10, that's 40. Seska give us 10, that's 50. And then we got the 10 from the watch. Total of 60% crit chance. Right? And 188% crit damage. 80% headshot, 12 armor. And then obviously the damage to target out of cover is not being shown here. So 10 there and 8 there. So that's 18%. Okay? So that's a lot of multiplicative damage, right? 18%. Damage target out of cover and 12% armor damage. That's a lot of multiplicative damage. And you're going to see these numbers. These numbers are insane. All right. So let's go over here to the range and let's take a look. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch this to name like I always like it. Okay. We're going to take a look at the 612 first. All right. And here we go. See, the, see those 922s, okay, 1179, so that's usually the highest that we're getting, it's like a 1179 as you can see there, okay, we do it one more time, 1179, just look at all those crits, huh, beautiful thing, right, now let's take a look at the M870, okay, this, this thing right here, oh my god, 1.4, 1.8, Jeez Louise. Look at that, the 1.8 in there. That's just a lot of damage per pellet. That's like a million. A million. Damn near every pellet. Okay. I think it was a see 1.8. Like that's just to me. That's just you see the damage numbers? It's insane. And when you get up close and personal and you hit them with this, it's gonna be insane, all right? So enough showcasing, right? So you saw the numbers. Now, if I switch this with one Badger Tough, these are gonna be the numbers, okay? And I'll break everything down for you once you start seeing these numbers. 1.1, okay? 1.18 and 9.12, but when I had Grupo, it was 1.17. So my highest crit between Grupo and Badgers was a difference of 57K. But my difference in crit was 10K. And you're gonna crit a lot more often. So, because I'm gonna crit a lot more often, that's why I went with the Grupo. The Grupo crit numbers are 10k higher but the badger tough is going to give you a 57k higher like top damage right but you're not always going to hit that right so that's why i went with the grupo all right and then you're going to see in the gameplay how i just annihilate i mean just destroy bosses and as you saw in the clip the rogue agent Okay, and there you have it. This is my high-end flatline shotgun build. I hope this helps you out. Please be sure to check me out on Twitch. The link will be in the description with the times that I'll be live. You never know. I could be live right now and answering any and all the questions that you may have. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all my upcoming build video. Have a good one, y'all. I'm out. Maintain this outpost. The true sons will be a direct threat to the campus.
Aiden, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Trusses have turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath here with increased security. Eyes that can't access data on this location. Stay alert. Let them know what you're walking into.
into the schematic guys have pulled upstairs. We can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. You're going down! You're going to keep them from getting more of those mortars. from the campus is taking position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us and we would have ended up like gasoline. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the Tucson's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated the stronghold near the campus. We should be proud. We saved a lot of lives today.